this is the data set. So the issue here is we're trying to find a set of weights or uh, multipliers, sometimes it's called, to integrate um, these performance metrics here. So you have two category one measures and uh, three category two measures. So we try to find a set of weights here to combine them into uh, a single index, for example. So we could use, for example, one, one, for all these measures for the time being. Okay. Um, so for the the width to category one for the first laptop. So what we're going to do is uh, basically you're going to say um, <coughs> I'm going to use a sum product. So, so this sum part of that basically says I take this weight in the cell B20, multiply that by the current value of the price, and plus um, the other weight and multiply that um, by the the weight, the second measure, and you get an integrated uh, measure in there. So I should repeat that process for all the uh, other laptops. So I would use the copy and paste. Now in this case. We notice that we should actually should fix the uh, the weights in this row, uh, particular row, so that every time um, I'm copying and paste, I don't have to um, change that. Okay. So I'm just going to drag this down. Okay, so if you double check on that, and so this is the the weight of the category one by using the weights one and one. Um, so the same thing in here. So that's the weight. Now we just copy and paste. So now at, at this point, I have integrated um, all the category one and category two measures into two uh, different you know, uh, combined measures in there. Now, of course, you notice I, I use the one and one uh, as, as the weight. And you know we can make an argument as to whether we should use one or something else. For example, if you, I can you know, use, a, use a five in there, and obviously the, the results uh, would be different. But the point here is that we are not going to try to decide a set of uh, weights. We will let the data set to decide a set of best weights. Um, so here I'm just using uh, the one or five, whatever numbers here, here for um, an illustration purpose. So we have um, uh, the the width category one and width category two, and of course remember we tried to get the ratio. So the ratio is basically the uh, width category two um, divided by width category one. So um, these are the ratios in there. Now, because the way that the, this ratio is defined, obviously a larger value indicates a, a better uh, performance uh, or a, uh, a better overall uh, ratio in there um, based upon uh, this particular set of weight that uh, being one across all the all the measures. Um, as you can see, if you use uh, use a different set of weights, and the ratio is going to change. Um, so in that sense, you have many many. Uh, possible ratios. Our goal here is try to find out whether a particular la laptop can achieve the best ratio. So if we don't uh, impose some kind of conditions in, in this case, um, I mean, as you can see, the ratio can go to infinity, you know, as big as, as, as possible. So there's no way you can figure out you know, which laptop is, is the best or which laptops are the best because each of them can pick a huge number on the, uh, the for example, the category two, uh, measures and then you get a huge, uh, huge ratio in there. Um, so let's see, you know, uh, we, we actually should impose some kind of conditions in there, 
um, sort of to restrict the the possible values um, these ratios can take. So the first condition that we are going to add here, impose here, is say, no matter what kind of weight that you pick, um, the ratio will have uh, has to be uh, within zero to one. Okay. So for example, oh, I'm trying to see. I'm use two and two in there. So if if let's say uh, we use the um, two on the category one measure and one still went across all the category two measures. Um, in this case, um, the ratio uh, are all within um, zero and one. But the question still remains in this um, in this particular case is that. Uh, is this particular set of weights uh, the best uh, set of weights for uh, all the uh, laptopers? To address that issue, okay, we are going to um, use a mathematical model um, to answer that question. Um, but as I said before, uh, we as the user are not going to decide what weights to use. We are going to let the data to speak for themselves. Uh, let each laptop to pick a set of best weights okay, such that their ratio or its ratio, uh, if we were looking at one particular laptop, for example the first one, the HP, uh, we will let HP to pick a set of weights uh, so that the ratio for the HP uh, is the maximum. Uh, as because we have this condition that all the ratios are between zero and one, as you can see, the maximum ratio a laptop can have is one. Okay, so if you have a ratio of one, if you can find a set of weights um, such that the ratio is one, then you are a sort of what we call the best practice. Uh, if you can't find a set of weights such that the ratio is one, then you are not a best practice or you are not the best uh, laptop. So in such case, we are actually going to look at one laptop at a time. So for example, if we are going to look at the first laptop, uh, what we can do is actually we can, um, let's say, let's record the, um, the weight category 1 and weight category 2 values um, over uh, these two cells, so this is just going to equal to, equal to the cell, and this is equal to the cell J2. Um, so you have the two numbers in here. Uh, remember, the first condition we uh, said we're going to impose is, uh, is that all the ratios, all the ratios have to be uh, less than or equal to, to 1. We are actually going to uh, impose a second condition um, such that Let's say for each laptop, if you're looking at one particular laptop, uh, no matter what kind of weight that you pick, uh, we're going to say we have to uh, restrict that um, the weighted category 1 um, has to be um, equal to 1. Now, as you can see, as of now, uh, this condition is not satisfied because the weighted category uh, 1 is more than 800. Uh, we want that to be 1 when we build the model. Um, the reason that we are doing that is because um, if you say that the weighted category uh, is set equal to 1 and then what, what happens to the ratio, okay? The ratio it becomes the weighted category 2. Okay, so this is a kind of a mathematical trick uh, we played in here by setting the, um, the, the weighted category 1, okay, uh, the to 1 and then the ratio becomes um, the weighted category 2 itself. And the reason uh, we are doing that is because uh, later on we are going to build an Excel model. This Excel model is called the linear programming problem. So everything has to be linear. Uh, as you can see the ratio in this case is a ratio. It's not, it's a not linear um, relationship. That's why we need to convert a non-linear ratio relationship into a linear one by setting um, in this case, the weighted category one uh, to one, okay, and and again the ratio becomes the um, the weighted category two. So let me summarize this. The goal here is 
try to find a set of weights okay such that the ratio for a particular laptop is maximized in a sense no matter what you do this is the best ratio a laptop can achieve okay and we as the user we do not decide that set of ways we let each laptop or let the data to decide what are the best ways so we will have to do this one laptop at a time so since we have 17 laptops we need to repeat the process and 17 times and here we have two conditions the first condition is that all the ratios has have to be within 0 and 1 and the second condition is that for a particular laptop under consideration the weight category 1 has to be 1 okay so we have two conditions our goal is to try to maximize the ratio in this case because of the second condition the ratio becomes the weight category 2 so in a different video I will show you how to set up the model in Excel and solve it and how we can use uh, VBA Visual Basic for application to automate the process so we don't have to repeat manually um, for the 17 laptops